Death is the great equalizer. No one here gets out alive. But new advances in medical technology promise to extend our lives. Could we delay the inevitable? Aging is a bad thing. It's a fatal disease that everybody has. So ultimately, it is humanity's worst problem. Don't let his looks fool you. Aubrey de Grey is a Cambridge scholar and a biomedical gerontologist who believes we can fix aging by treating it as a simple engineering problem. Keeping our bodies youthful however long we live is just a matter of maintenance. When things break, we can fix them. Dr. de Grey heads up the Methuselah Foundation, which is offering the M Prize, $4.5 million dollars to the research group that can most successfully extend the lifespan of lab mice. And labs around the world are getting closer and closer to claiming that prize. We'll no longer need to fear getting older because we'll know what's in store. Each of us is going to have a copy of our own body's instruction manual, a detailed map of the genome that lies within each and every cell of our bodies. That genetic revolution is happening in Iceland. The importance of the sequence of the DNA of an individual only becomes meaningful when you look at it in the context of the DNA of other individuals. Dr. Kari Stephenson is on a quest to unravel the secrets of our genetic limitations by decoding the DNA of an entire nation. There was a relatively small group of people who came here and there has pretty much been no immigration for 1,100 years. It is extraordinarily convenient because we can study everyone in Iceland with a particular disease. If we don't select from a group of patients, we, we just take them all. Dr. Stephenson has already compiled the genetic information and medical records of over 100,000 Icelanders in the subterranean vaults here at Decode Genetics. We are looking at the genomes of people who are at a particularly high risk of a disease and compare that to the genomes of people who are at a very little risk of a disease. His goal? To decode which parts of our DNA are responsible for what, so that all of us can be smarter about our own body's medical future. The fundamental premise is that the more you understand the risk, the better you can design methods to prevent the risk from becoming a disease. I have very little genetic risk of Alzheimer's disease. I have relatively high risk of prostate cancer. I have relatively high risk of type 2 diabetes. I'm convinced that the discovery of variations in the sequence of the human genome is going to be the foundation of the development of new preventive medicine. Soon, we'll all be surfing our entire genetic profiles on a secure medical uplink. People will have a profile of their genome in five to ten years, just like they know the blood groups today. This is going to help a very large proportion of the population to lead a healthy, productive life until they become much, much older than people usually are today. Already, the mapping of the genome has had some rather interesting side effects, like a pill that might someday allow us to double our lifespans. Now that the genome has been sequenced, I think we're finding how various genes function. In the coming years and decades, we will greatly be able to extend lifespan. Doctors Sinclair and Westfall have not only found a gene that increases lifespan, but they've figured out how to trigger it using a particular molecule that promises to fight aging at the cellular level. It's called resveratrol. It's found in red wine. Resveratrol has extended the lifespan of every organism we've tested, and it's been tried on worms and flies, and they also live about 30 to 40% longer. Fish live 60% longer. We can extend the lifespan of mice by twofold. If we can do even a fraction of that for humans and patients, that's gonna be an amazing future. Resveratrol works by activating the CERT-1 gene. CERT-1 controls the body's emergency response systems. When an organism is starving, it signals the body's cells to defend and repair themselves, and the cells are rejuvenated. What we've stumbled upon is really the body's natural defenses against disease and deterioration. If we understand how we can intervene and modulate the aging process, 
I think that we have a way of treating diseases of aging in a new and safer way. What we want is a tiny little pill that you could take once a day and be protected against diseases as different as diabetes and cancer and heart disease. You'll be able to combat the effects of aging by popping a pill. And it's gonna happen within your lifetime, which is about to get a lot longer. Everyone would like a little more quality time. There's no known reason why we can't double or even triple our lifespan in the coming decades. If the prophecies of scientists like Aubrey de Grey come true, we'll have more time to enjoy all the benefits that technology is bringing to our collective future. A world where we live in smarter, eco-friendly cities with new ways of getting across town or across oceans and new ways to visit any place on Earth without ever leaving home. A world where we enjoy an abundance of natural resources, preserving the planet for future generations, no matter how long they live. The next world is closer than you think.